Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Right now, I have the pleasure of talking to Teresa Gordon from Community Nursing Services about the great Art and Soup event that's coming up. It's a big fundraiser for Community Nursing Services. Teresa, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good morning. Excellent. Good morning. Thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. So let's get a little background first off right away about Community Nursing Services. You guys have a very long history and, and have supported the community for a long time. Yes, we are celebrating 90 years wow. serving the community and we're having this um, Art and Soup celebration of 30 years wow. to uh, help people. It's, it serves our charitable care program. Okay. So we can help people that are underinsured or uninsured. So we have 50 artists, 20 restaurants, and the artists um, give th CNS, Community Nursing, 30% of their proceeds for us to help people. Wow, excellent. And what are some of the services that Community nur Nursing uh, Services provides? What, what do you guys do for the community? We do home health, hospice, infusion therapy, respiratory therapy, and immunizations. Wow, so quite a lot offered to the community. Uh, yes. And you yourself are a respiratory therapist, right? Yes. How long have you been with Community Nursing Services? About five years. Excellent, and what drew you to, to, that, uh, to that job in the first place? What drew you to Community Nursing Services? Well, it's just rewarding to help people. They wanna be home. They wanna get home health in their home. Absolutely, and, and to be able to take care of, right? In yes. the comfort of their home, which is, which is very nice. And so let's talk about this uh, Art and Soup program. We have some pictures, actually. Let's take a look at those right now. This is just some of what's available at the Art and Soup program. You get to see all of these amazing artists work on their beautiful pieces, as well as some great food as well, it seems like, right? Yes, a lot of food. 20 restaurants, they donate all the food. Wow. And there are soups from um, Applebee's, Brio, Grand America, uh, Martine is new this year, Waffle Love. Um, we have coffee from Grounds for Coffee, uh, desserts, cake de fleur, so much. breads. Plus some amazing art that you could pick up for your home as well. I mean, we have artists from all across the state, I'm guessing, or do we have people from all across the country? All across the state. Wow, very Utah nice. Utah artists. Well, all local artists, which, yes. is, which is awesome as well. Have. So what, um, how much is it to get, is there an entry fee to get in there, or is you yes. guys take donations? How does this all work? Uh, tickets are $20. Excellent, where can people go to buy tickets? Um, you can go right to the door. Oh really, just right there, right mm -hmm. at the door. And it's happening March 21st and 22nd at the Salt Palace. What time does it yes. open? We have a lunch session from 11 to 2 and a dinner session from 5 to 9. So you kind of, I'm guessing you kind of just buy your ticket, you get a walk around and yes. just enjoy this beautiful art as well as a little bit of socializing with the people yes. around there as well. Yes. What are some of the favorite art pieces that you've seen uh, come out of this art show? Well, we just have um, you know, so many great artists, it's really hard to say, you know, I mean, you just have to come and see it. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, go and see for yourself, it'll <laughs> yeah. all be there. Have you picked up any art from, from the sure, art? Sure, sure, What yes. kind of pieces have you picked up? Well, um, a great piece of um, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, very nice. I mean, so there's scenery, there's... Uh, and is it all, is it all painting, or is it, does it take different mediums? I mean, do they have sculptors there as well, yeah, or is it all we, for the most part just painters? We have pottery. Oh, wow. We have jewelry. Excellent. And then prints of all kinds of mediums, originals. Originals. And prints. Wow. So there's a lot of range. Yes, so you can kind of get anything. And like you said, it's all local Utah artists. So you're supporting yes. everyone here in the state who's trying to, to make it as an artist as well. Yes. And we have some amazing artists here in the state, which is pretty great. I've seen some amazing uh, landscapes come out yes. of Park City as well as the Valley. There's some great jewelers as well. Yes. And you said pottery, which is pretty pretty fantastic. Yes. Where so can people, is there a website or, or place that people can go to kind of keep up to date with this? Yes, you can go to communitynursing-cares.org. Excellent. And then there, I'm sure you can find out all about uh, community nursing services yes. and everything that you guys provide as well, right? For sure. Thank you so much, Teresa. I appreciate Thank everything, you. all of your information that you've provided. When we come back, we're going to be taking a look at an artist who's featured in the show and some of the art that will be available there. As Teresa said, you can head over to the Salt Palace March 21st and 22nd for their lunch or dinner session. You can hang out, buy a ticket, and maybe get, get yourself some uh, good art as well from local artists and know that you're supporting a great uh, program, Community Nursing Services, which has been involved in the community for about 90 years now, which is fantastic. We'll be right Right back here on the Mountain Morning Show as we take a look at that art. Don't go anywhere.